people, this is uh, Tony Reynolds from Two Wheel for Fun. Still on this new road. Um, I don't know how it's gonna get and ah shit. Welcome to Two Wheel for Fun, a site I created for the simplicity of the ride. Every like, comment, and interaction with you, the viewer, fuels me to keep going. Where do I go from here? Let's ride and see. Good morning, people. This is your boy, Tony Reno, coming at you from Two Wheel for Fun. You know, the site I created for the simplicity of the ride. It is approximately 6.10. I haven't set the time since time has went, went forward. And um, I'm getting ready for a before the sun ride. <laughs> Let's uh, get the old trusty, trusty, dusty garage open. Got my keys, got the house keys, got my wallet. I will need some gas. And uh, yeah, let's get it in neutral so I can slide it on out so I won't uh, bother the missus from this early in the morning. Put that in gear. Let's close the garage. And uh, how about we get underway now? Whew. Let's get on out. Oh man, frost on the cars. Hopefully that's uh, not a good indication. Hopefully that's not an indication of, uh, <laughs> of what the uh, streets are. <laughs> Cause, uh, whew, 620. Yeah, let's get underway. So I can, uh, meet the sunrise. As you can see, it's coming up over the hills right now. And, uh, whew, not much to talk about today. Well, not much to talk about as of right now. Because, uh, I am on my way for a breakfast meetup. And like I said earlier, first I need to get some gas. Yeah, let's get some petrol. Yeah, let's go over here. Yeah, much better. All right, let's get some gas here. And uh, I'll get with you guys in a minute. All right. All right, got petrol. Everything's going on. Yeah, I don't think I need heat just yet. We'll see. Uh, just checking. Got my wallet. Got my phone. Yeah, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. And, uh, yeah, man. Daylight is just coming to be. All right, the sun is due to be up at 7, 7.05, I think. But, uh, we just have a nice little ride. Ouch. <laughs> you know, technology is great, especially when you remember that you have it. At the time of recording this, I forgot I had my fabulous Cena 50C on the side of my helmet. But I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the sunrise as much as I. I'm currently on the 14 South heading towards Valencia to meet up with our special guest. He reached out to me last night asking if I could meet him for breakfast at 7 o'clock. <laughs> ah, let's do it. <laughs> Heading out, it was a very nice and clear day, but it quickly turned into fog and overcast, so it's a good thing that I abandoned the back roads, because um, from the looks of this stuff, I wouldn't have been able to see a thing. And I also need to pull over real quick and uh, send a text to our special guest so he'll know that I'm a little bit behind due to the fog. So alright, text sent. There's a lot of fog, so I'll be late. <laughs> the 
But finally, I'm at the exit and heading for Denny's where we had planned to meet. And here we are, people. Yes, it's the infamous Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. <laughs> he came in yesterday to get some parts for his bike. No, I'm not telling you what they are. <laughs> You're going to have to wait for his video. <laughs> And unfortunately, due to time constraints, it was a quick bite to eat and back on the bikes. Rich was actually pushing for home, so the meetup was actually a breakfast ride. And unfortunately, no planned rides or, uh, you know, um, ex excursions, if I can say. But um, I opted to follow him up, up the I-5 heading north, up and over the grapevine to his next fuel stop. From there, I tagged along, and uh, I think I tagged along for about another 20 minutes or so, and then decided to take the Mariposa exit. I could have taken the I-5 back home, but you know me better than that. <laughs> so let's have some fun, shall we? But first, let me check in with Aretha so she knows I'm okay, and I'm planning an adventure. Heading down the 166, I see a road that I haven't traveled before. So I stopped to look at the map and trying to find out where it was and then I realized it connects with Hudson Valley Road that goes back to Fraser Park. From there I can make it home. So let's see what this Klipstein Canyon Road has to offer. And remember what I've said in the past. If the road has canyon in its name, it has to be good. Let's ride. This is uh, Tony Reynolds, the Shoe Wolf of Fun. Still on this new road. Um, I don't know how it's gonna get and ah shit. So I say, oh no 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 no. It may still be good. Uh, they say no turn around beyond this point. That's a nice house up there. I'm just gonna see how far I could get. Getting. Drop off. Yeah, there we go. I think I should be able to make that. As long as it won't drop off. Up there. As long as there's no more like that, I'll be okay. <laughs> that was a uh, new road nonetheless. New road. Oh man, I gotta come back here.
prepared for this and I don't have my damn 360 cables. Oh, this is nice. This, ladies and gentlemen, it's Hudson Valley Road. <laughs> All right, what up, people? This is I, your boy Tony Reno, coming at you from Two Wheel for Fun. You know, the site I created for the simplicity of the ride. I'm just gonna get on over here and take a picture of the uh, road sign right here, Clipstein Canyon Road and Hudson Ranch Road. Man, I tell you what, I sure wish Rich could have rode this road with me. But I understand he had to get home, so you know, maybe next time, brother, maybe next time. I wish you safe travels. So with that said, uh, people, I'm gonna get on Hudson Ranch Road heading towards Fraser Park, I believe, and then from there head on home. So, um, hope you enjoyed this little closeout. It's been a nice day, a nice ride. I uh, enjoyed the breakfast with Rich from Boots and Jeans, and um, maybe next time we'll be able to get some more people to join in with us. All right, you guys enjoy the day, man. This is again.